Hey everyone, it's JJNS with the Slashing Mini Network, and I know it's been a very long time since my last recent pickups video, so these aren't really essentially recent pickups, but there's something, there's some things here that I'd definitely like to show you that I've received. Uh, the first one here is Duke Nukem Total Meltdown. This was originally released on PC as Duke Nukem 3D, but they gave it a subtitle since they ported it to the PlayStation 1. It's a good representation of the original game, but the graphics sort of differ a little bit from the original PC release. But also the controls are quite a bit horrid on this one. But if you're an avid fan of Duke Nukem or you just like playing first person shooters or whatnot, this would definitely be a good, good pick for y'all. Uh, this next one is Heavy Rain. I've kept my self in the dock with this one so I'm not quite sure what's going on but I've seen many reviews I've seen a lot of user reviews on it and they they definitely stick by this game a lot and Quantic Dreams did a awesome job with this I heard I mean it's a very interactive story and you you control almost every aspect of each character's life that you play as there's three characters that you play but other than that, I, I kept myself in the dock with this. Now, this one here is God of War Collection, which is a collection of the first two God of Wars from the PS2. And they upscaled it to be a higher definition. Um, and, yeah, it, it's an awesome collection if you're a big God of War fan or you've just heard about the games and you've never had a chance to play them originally on the PS2. I definitely highly suggest this as well. Now, here is a very highly anticipated game for me, at least. Doom 3 BFG ed Edition. The other great thing here is, is they put this out as a 20th anniversary type collection because they have the first two Doom games on here and you would think the controls for the original Doom games put released on this they'd be really hard to get into but the really good thing is is you actually get to use your left and right sticks to aim and move so they definitely did a great job with the controls Doom 3 people awesome game I originally had for my Xbox but it crapped out on me when I was playing this. Dead Rising 2. Game takes place five years after the original. Uh, a lot of things carried over, like all the all the zombies you can kill, all the different weapons that you can create and whatnot. Uh, the only aspect of this that I don't quite like is there's an actual in-game time limit, so... You better be able to do what you can while you have the chance. But Dead Rising 2, it's a great zombie killing game. You can just run around and do whatever you want, create whatever you want. Yeah, I had to show it a second time. Great game. Ooh. Just hate the time limit. Now this is something that I've been waiting for for a long time, which was Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to be all included in one package. And they did it. They finally re-released it. Uh, it runs great on Vista. It runs just fine on Windows 7. I haven't heard anything about any real compatibility with Windows 8 on it. But I'm assuming people have found ways to use it on there through the actual discs other than going to like Steam and buying the games. Now the sad thing about this, as many fans of the series knows, was... Part 2, it was released unfinished, and just like the original release, this version of the Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords, once again, it's still unfinished, but there's a couple of different sites that you can go to to add in these cut missions, cin cinematics, and what have you, but... Definitely an awesome find. I was glad I was able to get this. I bought this brand new with both discs for 20 bucks. But the one thing here you'll notice is I have 
one game in one area and a game in the other. This is not the original case that it came in. Originally, the case it came in, both discs basically tat and sat on top of one another, which I'm not a big fan of, so I'm just glad I was able to find a dual disc case. Now, I have two games that I'm going to show you at the same time, and you'll see why. Digital Devil Saga 1 and 2, done by one of the greatest RPG companies out there, which is Atlas, and they did such an awesome job with these. These are another set of games that I've kept myself in the dark with, but I've seen some footage, and I've seen a couple of different user reviews, and... I had to get these. I got these off of Amazon for about 20 bucks a piece. So if anyone out there is definitely a fan or have heard things about these two games, definitely get them. And if you get them, try to get both games at the same time as I did. Because the first one and the second one put together, it's, it's like one huge, huge game. And... Some of the decisions that you make in the first game, you can actually transfer over t into your second game because the second game takes place directly after the first. If you play just the first, it, you're, you're going to be sitting there wanting more because a lot of things have been not resolved in the first game. But if you get the second game too, you're, you're getting your entire story. Now this one here, I'm sure many of you out there have seen my dumpster diving video from when I was doing the dumpster diving in GameStop and I found a few cool things. This one here was not from a GameStop dumpster. I was actually walking down the street going to the store or something and I walk by and I see this trash bag and I notice a magazine popping out so I was just like, alright, let me check this out. So I grabbed it and I just about crapped my pants. We have here a Nintendo's player guide top secret passwords. This was really awesome. I mean the book's not in all that great condition as you can see from the binding and some of the corners of the pages have been a bit roughed up. But I mean this covers this covers stuff from the original NES, Super Nintendo, and the Game Boy. And you're going to find games such as Gargoyle's Quest, Castlevania 2 for the original Game Boy, uh, Lemmings, Pilot Wings, and Krusty's Super Fun House. And for the NES, you, they cover three of the Mega Man games, Part 1, 2, and, I mean, my fault, my fault. It's 2, 3, and 4 that they cover, my apologies. But yeah, I mean, I looked through the magazine a few different times and there's no pages missing and the actual gloss on the pit on the pages is still really good. Uh, like I said, the only downfall was the binding right here and the corners being folded a bit, but still nonetheless a great thing that I was able to come across. But... Yeah, any of these games that I named, I mean, Digital Devil Saga, Dead Rising 2, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic Collection, all of them that I got right there, I definitely highly suggest all of them. I mean, Duke Nukem, Total Meltdown, the controls could have been so much better than they were, but whatever, I'm, I'm sure if y'all are hardcore enough, you're definitely going to want to try that game out, alright? J Janess with the Slash Mini Network. I hope you enjoyed my recent my recent pickups. Have a good one.